A top 10 most wanted fugitive is now behind bars in Lubbock. I'm Brian Mudd. And I'm Lauren Motter. 22-year-old Tanner Lerman was transferred here to answer for a manslaughter charge. As KMAX Ryan Chandler has reported, it is a long-awaited state set for a local mom who has been fighting for years to get justice for her daughter. Well, that's right. It has been a long time coming for the mother of Haley Steele, who has been trying to get Tanner Lerman back to Lubbock for the crime that prosecutors say killed her 29-year-old daughter, daughter Haley Seal more than two years ago. He was arrested that day back in April 2020, but Haley's family says delays in his toxicology results for an intoxicated driving offense and some administrative errors allowed him to be released from Lubbock County Jail before he could be charged with manslaughter. This is Haley. She was driving with Lerman in April 2020 when Lerman was high, but the results showing that he was intoxicated while driving just before this crash took 13 months to return, and it wasn't until 20 months after Haley died that Lerman was charged. But by then, he had been on the run and racked up a host of other charges for other felonies all across Texas, including aggravated assault and illegal firearm possession. DPS even said he had ties to gangs. But for those, he was eventually convicted and sentenced to 15 years this June. But all the while, other jurisdictions were still looking for him, including Lubbock County, which didn't even know that he was captured. In fact, it wasn't until the end of this August that he was removed from the state's most wanted list. So a long road to justice for Haley's mom, reaching its next step this Monday when he was served a bench warrant from Lubbock County and transferred to our jail to answer for his manslaughter charge. Haley's mom tells us today that she's still working to find out what went so wrong to delay Lerman's trial here. She says his other convictions for other offenses are no solace for the charge that hurt her family. And she's hopeful that a manslaughter conviction could add on as much as 20 more years to his time in prison. 